Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Drama Side for Drama Side TV and Bipolar Entertainment. So, we already know what it's been on this channel when it comes to Elvis. We remember when I did my first video coming back to Elvis after years of thinking that I knew what was what with Elvis and finding out that it was all a lie. So I'm not going to go into this great dialogue again, even though there's been three videos of Elvis done and I still have people saying things. And that's fine. If you feel comfortable or you feel the need to say whatever you need to say, I encourage that. Go ahead. Here's the thing that I don't encourage and I will absolutely not put up with. This is Drama Side TV, and Drama Side TV is as much for you guys as it is for me. For me, it's therapy. For me, it's enjoyment of music. You guys seem to like my reactions, and I enjoy reacting for you. But one of the things I told you, well, let me change that. Two things that I told you guys is that my name is either Drama Side, or I even gave you my birth name, which is Michael. Now, some of you guys shorten the name and you say side. I'm cool with that. But don't think just because you're trying to tell me about race relations when it comes to Elvis that you're cool to come into my page and call me black boy. Because now you're defeating the purpose and the defense mechanism that you're supplying for Elvis Presley. You're coming to his aid saying this man was not racist and I don't believe that he was racist. I don't. I've, I've explained it. But you're going to kind of try to combat with me and say Elvis is not racist and you can offend that by being racist yourself by calling me black boy? Some of you guys need to get yourself together. Some of y'all need to get yourself together. Because if you think you're going to do that and stay here, you are out of your damn mind. Let's get it together. If y'all can't do better than that, then y'all know where the door is. Y'all need, need to get it together. I don't disrespect none of y'all. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. For the rest of you guys who love Elvis as much as I do, we're going to go ahead and continue on. We're going to take a deep breath, and we're going to separate ourselves from that negativity just now. And it's washed away. I have nothing else to say about that. Elvis Presley, Poke Salad Annie, live, high quality baby, baby. Let's go, Elvis. What are you looking at back there? Some of y'all never been down south too much. I'm gonna tell you a little story and so that you'll understand what I'm talking about. Down there we have a plant that grows out in the woods and the fields. And it looks something like a turnip green. And everybody calls it poke salad. I remember having poke salad when I was a kid. Go ahead on Elvis. I didn't mean to interrupt you. We gonna go back so everybody gets the full rendition of what you are talking about. But poke salad is good, it's good. I'm a country boy, I told y'all that. Let's go! About it. Down there we have a plant that grows out in the woods and the fields. And it looks something like a turnip green. And everybody calls it poke salad. And that's poke salad. Anyway, I used to know a girl lived down there. She'd go out in the evenings and pick a mess of it, carry it home and cook it for supper. That's about all they had to eat. But they did all right. Down in Louisiana, where the alligators grow so mean. I lived a girl that I swear to the world Made the alligators look pink Oh, Sally Danny You got your granny 
Everybody said it was a shame Cause her mama was working on the chain gang A mean, vicious, straight razor toting woman Lord have mercy on the wall Every day before supper time She'd go down by the truck patch And pick her a mess of poke salad And carry it home in a toast sack Poke salad, honey You got your granny Everybody said it was a shame Cause her mama was a working on the chain gang Suck a little push. Oh. Her daddy was lazy and no count. Claimed he had a bad back. All her brothers were fit for Stealing watermelons out of my truck Crash folks said it any You just got your granny Everybody said it was a shame Cause her mama was a working on the chain gang You suck a little Now that you know what needs Listen, I said this before. Listen, if you want to lose weight, if you want to be at the peak of your fitness, you don't need a vegan diet. You don't need to be a vegetarian. All you simply need to do is watch Elvis Presley clips. If you're not feeling at your very best after an Elvis Presley workout, I don't know what to tell you. That man got on stage and shook every last piece of his body, y'all. Every last piece of it. And them sweet inspirations. Them sweet inspirations over there with them. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Them sweet inspirations with, 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 the, with, the, with the background vocals that were so tight and so in time. A lot of people talk about James Brown and his command over his band and his orchestra. Elvis had the same. Everybody knew where to be, when to do it. And they were always ready for the improv. They was ready for the improvisation that Elvis would do. They was always ready for it. That's, these are class, world-class musicians and singers that he was working with. Let's give, let's give props to them. And I read in the comments section that Elvis did not like to be called the king, so therefore, even in death, I will respect that man. But 
What he did on that stage was very, very regal, though. It was very, very regal. Sometimes it takes people who lord over a kingdom to have that kind of command on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dramaside. This is Dramaside TV. Baby, baby.